Here are two easy ways to create dotted or dashed lines in Photoshop, either as straight lines, curved lines, or even around subjects in your photos. You'll also learn how to save your dotted or dashed line effects as presets for easier access in future projects. But with that, let's get into Photoshop and get started. Now in this lesson, we're gonna go through two different examples. The first creating a regular dotted or dashed line, while the second will be going around a subject. Each of these techniques require some different steps, so I'll leave the timestamps below this video, depending on what one you're most interested in. However, we're gonna start things off by creating a standard straight or curved dashed line. To do that, we need to first access the pen tool by pressing P on our keyboard. And by default, up in the options bar, this will probably be set to path. However, to easily create a dotted or dashed line, we want this to be set to shape. Now what we can do is click to add an anchor point with our pen tool. We can click in another point to create a secondary anchor point and therefore create a path between those two points. And then we can continue to do this around clicking in different spots to continue creating our path. And as you'll notice, there is this color that begins to fill our path because of our shape settings up here. Now, obviously this is not what we're wanting because we want to create a dotted or dashed line. So that means we need to first make this fill color transparent. So up in the options bar within my pen tool because it is set to the shape setting here. I'll click on the fill option and go to this setting here which represents transparency. Now the color inside of this path is going to be transparent. Now we can go and add an outline to this path by clicking on the stroke setting and choosing a color from somewhere in this panel. We can choose one of our previous selected colors here or you can click on this option to reveal the color picker where you can set a custom color of your choosing for your line. So let's say I'll choose this blue color and I'll click OK. So now I have a blue line that is following the path I created with the pen tool. However, this isn't a dotted or dashed line. To turn this solid line into a dotted or dashed one, all we need to do is click on this option right here. Clicking on this drop down menu, it reveals our stroke options where we can click on the dashed option or the dotted option. Now you might be happy with these two preset options, but odds are you might want to customize it a little bit for your tastes. And we can do that by clicking on the more option button right here. By clicking the more option setting, I'll just move this panel over so we can see our entire stroke. What we can now do is customize the size of each dash as well as the space between them. So for example, if I wanted these dashes to be a little bit longer in the dash setting, I could set this to say five, for example, and now that will change the look of this line. Now if I wanted to have the spacing between each dash to be a bit wider, I can go to the gap setting and I could increase or decrease this value depending on your tastes. So for example, let's increase it, I'll go to six, and now it will add a larger spacing between the line as you see here. Now assuming that you create something that you really like and you want to save it for later use, rather than having to go back into the stroke settings, what we can do is save these settings that we just created as a preset. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we have our align set to center so that the line will follow our path directly. It's not gonna be on the outside or the inside of the path. It will follow that path directly. And then for the caps here, if you want to have the rounded edges like you see here, then you'll make sure the caps is set to round. However, if you want this to be more boxy, we can set this to square. And then as you see, we now have a more boxy outline here. So for this example, I want to have the rounded caps, and this is the preset that I would like to save. So to save this preset, you can see at the preset option, it is automatically set to custom because we adjusted these settings here. So all we have to do now is click on save, to save that preset. And now you'll notice up in the stroke options, we have this new line with the save preset we just created. So I'll go ahead and click okay. So now in the future, we can go back to this setting and then go and choose the preset that we just created to have this exact line that we really like. Now, if you want to go and change the thickness of this line at any time, you can just go to the stroke width setting here and just move this slider one way or the other to change the size of that stroke, but it will still keep the same character of the dash line that you had here. And of course, if you want to create a curved dash line, all you need to do is just curve your path with the pen tool. So continuing on my path with the pen tool, still active as I've had it the entire time in the lesson so far, if I click and hold, I can now curve that path like so. And as you can see, the lines will just continue on and I can click around and drag again 
and we can just create some nice curved lines with our dashed effect like so. So that is the first way to create dotted or dashed lines. All you need to do is use the pen tool in the shape mode up here in the options bar and then customize your stroke settings like so to suit your tastes. Now what if you want to go and use this effect around a subject for example? Well in that case the process is a little bit different and rather than manually going around your entire subject we can start with a selection and then quickly turn that into a path where we can get a similar result as we see here. So going over to my next example I have my subject that I would like to outline and the first step of this process is to select our subject. With my image layer selected I can just go to select subject and if you don't see this taskbar just go up to window and down here to contextual taskbar to reveal it but once you have the taskbar active down here we'll just click on select subject. This will automatically create a selection around our subject like so. It doesn't have to be perfect Perfect because again we're just creating a general outline for our line to follow. Now let's go and expand the selection so that the outline is not right against our subject. There's a bit of space between our subject and the outline. So to do that we have previously need to go up through our menu folders here but now we can still use the contextual taskbar. So clicking down here on the masking option I'll click on this to reveal the drop down menu and I'll choose expand selection. This setting will allow us to move our active selection outward words by a set number of pixels. So for this example, I'll put 30 pixels into here, meaning that my selection will expand by 30 pixels. I'll now click OK. With the selection now outside of our subject a little bit more, let's smooth it out so that we have a nice smooth effect with our final result. To do that, I'll once again click on the masking option, and this time I'll go to smooth selection. In this dialog box that appears, we don't want to go too overboard with this so that we still get the curves and things from our subject around their clothing or whatever. So I'm going to leave this set to 10 pixels and I'll click OK. So this will smooth out any weird bumps that we had in our selection and make the final result look a little bit more clean. So now with this complete, we need to turn this selection into a path. And to do that, we need to select a different selection tool. We can do that just by pressing W on our keyboard to activate either the quick selection tool, the object selection tool, or the magic wand tool. It doesn't matter which one you have active, just press W on your keyboard and you'll be good to go. After pressing W, that will activate one of those three tools and you can now right click inside of the selection and go to make work path. We'll set the tolerance to somewhere between two and five, depending on the complexity of your selection. But since this is a simple selection and there's not a lot going on in terms of curves and things, I'll just leave this set to two and I'll click OK. Now my selection will turn into a path like we created previously in the first example. Now to turn this into a shape, we need to activate our pen tool by pressing P. Up in the options bar, we'll change the setting from shape down here to path. And now our work path will disappear, but we can reactivate it by going to our paths panel here and clicking on our work path. If you don't see the paths panel, just go up to window and then down here to paths to reveal it. Now with that work path selected, you'll notice up in the options bar, while my pen tool is active in the path mode, I now have the option to choose make shape. So I'll click on this. Now my path will be turned into a shape and that means I can go back to my layers panel and I can now select one of my shape tools by pressing U on my keyboard. This activates the shape settings up here where we can go and change the fill stroke as well as the outline settings. So once again, just like before, we'll set the fill to transparency by clicking this option here and then we'll go and choose a stroke color which will be the outline color of our subject. You can choose any preset option here or you can click on the color picker here and then choose a custom color or even sample a color by clicking somewhere in your photo like that to choose a color from your image. I'll click OK and now I have that color set as my outline color. Next I'll go to my stroke options and I can either choose one of the preset options or the new custom preset that we just created or you can choose the more options button to customize the look of your outline here. And with that now clicking on my image layer so I don't see that path anymore as we can see I now have that dashed line around my subject that I can easily go back and customize by just clicking on the shape layer, activating any of the shape tools by pressing U, and then customizing those settings up here. Now with these two techniques, you can pretty easily create any dotted or dashed line you can imagine, but if you wanna learn more about creating other styles of lines in Photoshop, check out this video here, or to learn additional ways to outline things in your photos, but with a bit less effort than what you saw here, then you can check out this video here instead.